Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today we will be reviewing the Fairy Forest Oracle deck, uh, an Oracle of the Wild Green World by Lucy Cavendish, an artwork by Maxine Gad. A uh, very, very nice box, first of all. Uh, very large, well made. Okay, sturdy box, so you don't have to worry about this, you know, ripping or tearing as soon as you get it. Um, this is going to last this box. Reminds me of the Doreen Virtue boxes. And inside this box, we have the guidebook. And let's take a look. Just received these cards about an hour ago, and I could not wait to do the review because I, as soon as I saw them, I knew I had to have them. Uh, this is a very beautiful guidebook. Okay, oops. Just my camera here. Okay, very beautiful guidebook. Okay, very glossy finish to the, the book. The camera does not want to cooperate here. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay, guidebook is very, very well made. Nice thick guidebook. It's like a bound book. And um, it's a larger book, but you could bring it along with you if you're traveling or, you know, if you just want to read up on it. Uh, it will uh, be durable. And let's take a look inside. We have our table of contents. Okay, a little information on, you know, what the fairy forest is. A little background about the theme of this card deck, how to work with the deck. Uh, a card a day, drawing a card every day is a, a good way to, you know, learn each and every one. And I may do just that. I think that's a wonderful idea to get acquainted with a new deck and a bond with it. And then it's telling you, you know, how to uh, shuffle the cards, how to keep them uh, flowing pure. Uh, spreads and layouts, how to clear your deck. There's a card spread here. A lot of information. And then we get to each of the cards. And you'll have a picture of the card, okay? The name of the card, a few words to describe it, and then more of a description here to read further. And uh, this is... I'm not sure if it said how many cards are in this box. It doesn't say how many, but there's. it seems like there's quite a bit. Anyway, it goes through all of the cards in their descriptions. And as we get to the end, it should tell me how many cards are in this deck. 45 cards. Okay, so there's 45 cards in this deck. And it tells you about the author, Lucy Cavendish. And it's actually 135 pages. Uh, well made. Very well made guidebook. And let's take a look at the cards. Okay, let me just slip this band off here. Wow, how amazing is that? <laughs> it's a tree trunk and there's a doorway. It just makes you feel like you're out in the forest. It has such a nature vibe to it. And look at up here. There's a, a forest creature up here, and looks like there's a black cat down here, and uh, little mushrooms. They're kind of glowing, and little fireflies up here. How beautiful. And they're like a semi gloss finish, very durable and well made. Nice card stock. Okay. Yeah, let's see how they shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. And let's take a look at the cards themselves. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful that is. I hope the camera is doing justice for these pictures because they are amazing. They're amazing. She's looking into this. It looks like a mirror, and she sees a unicorn. And it's saying, the fairy Norn, planning, patience, cooperation. Card number 31. So these cards are numbered. Um, some of the cards are not numbered. These are numbered. Uh, card 32, Fairy Godmother. Look at that. The artwork is amazing. 
This is Maxine Gad who does the artwork. I'll be looking for more of the decks that uh, she does the artwork on because it's it's incredible. Volva, card 33, Prophecy, Guidance, Direction. I love Lucy Cavendish's decks. I've never been disappointed with any of them. And it's just phenomenal, just the feeling of the cards. And they're very different from what other cards I have right now. So I like a variety of different cards depending upon maybe the season or the mood that I'm in. Uh, these are very enchanting and interesting. The Green Man, Initiative, Fertilization, Action. The Life Bringer, Establishment, Growth, Fulfillment. The Yule Singer, look at how beautiful. If snow and ice in the background and, and these holly berries, these, these red berries and stuff really stand out. You have a bird over here. The Yule Singer Rebirth, Feasting Joy. How festive is that card? And the colors, just amazing. The details of these cards. The Maybon, Shining Hope and Future. They're just incredible. Very satisfied with this purchase. Uh, it's a really nice guidebook that comes along with this, so I'm sure this would be fine for a beginner. Um, these seem a little bit more advanced, um, but I'm sure with the information included in that guidebook, it shouldn't be that hard to get acquainted with the cards. Uh, these would be great for a professional card reader as well. These are truly amazing. Truly amazing feel to them. Lucy Cavendish has a style all her own, and I just, like I said, I've never been disappointed in any of the decks that I've purchased of hers, and this one, I'm definitely, definitely mystified by these cards. They're just amazing. The Messages, The Green Witch, Fresh New Spring, Elven Touch, Recovery, Comeback, Revival. And the energy is like very enchanted, very earthy, very mysterious, very, very beautiful cards. Initiate, card 14, curiosity, open, warm. You have the, the warm colors here. You have the red and yellows and orange. The wizard. Rune King, Wise One, Counselor, Soul Kin, Recognition, Family, Kinship. These cards really have an energy all their own. Unseelie Queen, Glamour, Opulence, Hubris. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is card 20, 21. Blood month, sacrifice, offerings, decision. Like, look at the expression on the, the faces. Oh, promise, pledge, contract. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. So thrilled that I purchased these. Um, they were definitely worth every penny. I'm sure if you you know, are looking for a unique type of deck and, and you're into the earthy forest uh, type of uh, fairy cards, these would be perfect. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel. I will be back.